The Hopkinton Hillers baseball team grabbed the ninth seed in the South Division II bracket. They upset eighth seeded Plymouth North in round one. In the second round, they got a home game against 17th seeded Falmouth, who upset first seeded Middleborough six to three in eight innings. Rain delayed this game for a couple days, but with great field preparations by the grounds crew, we were ready for baseball. Bottom of the third inning, Hillers coming to bat trailing one to nothing, but it was rally time. There's a ball that's gonna be caught by Kohig. And Ben McKenzie scores, so it's a tie ball game. Pitch to Sosinski, and there's a ball hit. It's gonna tail away from the left fielder, and here comes Stevie Simos. The throw is coming to the plate, and the ball hits Simos in the back, and he scores. Zelmo Sosinski went the other way with that pitch. Two batters after Sosinski drives in the Hiller's second run. Tim Burdick comes up and hits it up the middle. He shows off the wheels up the first baseline and beats it out. Alex Reynolds scores to make it 3-1 Hopkinton. And then Ryan Wolf at the plate. He drills one to right field. It lands for a hit. It scores two runs. Zach Sasitsky and Chris Burdick both cross to make it 5-1 Hillers. Hopkinton plates five runs in the inning and never looks back as they grab the 5-2 victory. Chris Burdick throws another gem and the Hillers improve to 14-8 and, and advance to the sectional semifinals on Thursday, June 8th, 4 p.m. at Rockland High School in which they will take on fifth seeded 16 and 6 Greater New Bedford. I caught up with head coach Steve Simos as well as Alex Reynolds and Chris Burdick after the game. All right, I'm here with Hillers baseball head coach uh, Steve Simos. Coach, uh, great game here today. You're heading off to the semifinals. Uh, could you talk about uh, today's game and the run that this team has uh, went on so far? Yeah, our, our motto is to just uh, live in the moment and uh, hold the rope and play with character. And that's basically what they, we win differently each time. Um, I told them this is not the best team I've ever coached, but it's the best team I've ever coached. And they're really a special group. All right, and uh, what's it been like to uh, coach these guys all season long, especially this being your first season back in Hopkinton, getting a team like this? Oh, it's fantastic because it's kids I've known. My two sons are... Um, their age. I have a senior son and a sophomore son, so I've grown up. Uh, these kids have grown up around us, and uh, I've had an opportunity to coach a lot of them in other ways. Uh, just a high quality, high character group. Did you miss it here in Hopkinton? Well, I teach right on the corner building, so I never went anywhere. Well, I mean the baseball program. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I missed it, but I, I uh, made a decision to watch my sons play there. Um, my older son played his high school years, and uh, and that was great to have a time away. My battery got recharged, and it's been an awesome year. Well, Coach, uh, hopefully we have many more playoff games to look forward to. Congratulations on a great win this afternoon. Thank you very much. All right, thanks a lot, Coach. All right, I'm here with uh, Alex Reynolds and Chris Burdick. Guys, uh, it's been a great season for Hillers baseball this year. And uh, after a couple of uh, seasons where the playoff runs either didn't happen or they were short, Hillers are back, and they're back with force, and you got a great win uh, here against the tough Falmouth team here this afternoon. Uh, can you talk about uh, today's game and what it's been like to play with this group of guys all season long? Yeah, this group of guys has been awesome all, all year. Today, I mean, everyone, our team slogans hold the rope, and everybody did that. Someone got a base hit. Someone knocked him in. There's an error in the field. Someone picked him up. I mean, just no one gives up, and that's what makes this group special is we stick together until that last out's made. I mean, I've been on this team for the past two years. Alex has been on for, what, now four? And there's always, like, this is definitely easily the closest group of guys we've had. I mean, everyone supports each other. We all get along. Like, we're always rooting for each other. And that's, I think, a huge part of why we've made it this far. And this team seems to have uh, some great chemistry as well and, of course, some great coaching. What's it been like to play under uh, Coach Simos? Oh, it's unbelievable. I mean, I've had... Coach Simos as a hitting coach my whole life, and I'm best friends with both of his sons. And more than baseball, he's just an awesome guy to have around, keeps the chemistry up. But, yeah, no one knows baseball like he does. He's unbelievable to have in that dugout. 
And Chris, what about from a uh, pitcher standpoint? I mean, it's all the little things. Like, everyone knows baseball, but it's the little things that makes him so special. All right, well, guys, uh, congratulations on another great win this afternoon, and we look forward to hopefully many more playoff wins this season. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Down the hill from the baseball team, the third-seeded Hillers softball team was playing in the South Division I quarterfinals against 11-seeded Somerset Berkeley. This game was a straight-up pitcher's duel between Abigail Cataret and Heather Holly. Scoreless game on the top of the sixth. One out, one on for the Raiders. Savannah Nealon at the plate. Set to deliver. Hit in the air over to center field. Morningstar makes the catch, and she's going to throw it back in. The throw to first, in time, double play. Threat diverted, a beauty of a throw in by Lily Morningstar, and a good heads-up softball from the Hillers. Top of the eighth, Raiders threaten again. Two on, two outs. Lindsay Chubbick, the catcher at the plate. She deals, swinging strike, out number three. And Heather Holly and the Hillers get out of the jam. It is a scoreless game heading to the bottom of the eighth. Heather Holly gets her seventh and final strikeout of the game to keep it scoreless. Bottom of the tenth, game still scoreless. Emma Murphy starts the bottom of the tenth off with a single. Tired at the moment. This is up the middle past the reach of the shortstop. It's a base hit, a leadoff base hit for Emma Murphy. After a sacrifice and a ground out, Emma Murphy moves up to third, but there is two outs in the inning. Lily Morningstar at the plate. Could she finally put an end to this game? And this is hit in the air, over to left field, towards the fence, and that's gonna drop! And it's going to be the game-winning hit for Lily Morningstar. Emma Murphy scores, and the Hopkinton Hillers walk off in the bottom of the 10th and take the game one to nothing. Yes, she can. Lily Morningstar comes through in the clutch and drives in the winning run and only run of the nearly two-hour game, which is very long for softball. A 1-0 final, and the Hopkinton Hillers advance to take on the second-seeded Milford Scarlet Hawks, who are 21-1 on the season. They will meet up at Taunton High School Thursday, June 8th at 5 p.m. I spoke with the Hillers hero after the game. Well, uh, Lily, first off, congratulations on the game-winning hit. And what a tremendous pitcher's duel it was out there. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be able to say that you were the one to finally drive in the first run of this game in the bottom of the tent. Uh, it feels really great. It feels, I feel like um, I was, I'm just so happy that I was able to do it for my team and um, get it done. How has it been uh, playing with this uh, group all season? It seems like you guys are uh, very close and there's a great mm -hmm. chemistry. It feels great to have a, a good team. Uh, we are all so close and we all love the game. And we have great leadership in our seniors. Um, so it really mesh, we really mesh well together, and I think that's what really helps us get the win each day. And could you talk about what it was like to face that Somerset Berkeley pitcher, Abigail Cataract? Couldn't have been easy. Oh, she's tough. She really knows how to um, get you guessing and not know where the pitch is going to go. Um, so, I mean, I just tried to fit, stay focused, and uh, I don't know. She's a great pitcher. There's not much you can say about it. And what was the mood of the team? Did they feel uh, confident that they were going to come through in this, or were they kind of getting uh, down a little bit about uh, struggling offensively? Uh, we we always try to stay uh, up and positive. We trust our we trust each other. So I think in the back of our minds, we all knew that we were going to come up come out with this one. All right. Well, uh, congratulations on Thank getting you. the game-winning hit, and best of luck in Taunt against Milford. Thank you.